Similar to people, valves need regular exercise to maintain a healthy condition. But unlike people, valves cannot go for a jog or lift weights. Instead, valves need our help to get proper exercise. Industry standards or instruction manuals from valve manufacturers may have instructions on how to exercise specific types of valves, but in general, it's important to move the valve through its entire range of motion. For example, AWA standard C517-16 for resilient seated cast iron eccentric plug valve states each valve should be operated through a full cycle and returned to its normal position. But why is it important to exercise valves? There are many reasons to exercise valves regularly. Exercising valves prevent sticking. Regular exercise helps prevent valves from sticking due to rust, corrosion, or sediment buildup. Ensures operational readiness. Regularly exercised valves are more likely to function correctly when needed. Identifies issues early. Periodic use allows for the early detection of wear, leaks, or damage, facilitating timely repairs. Maintains seal integrity. Exercising valves helps to keep the seals flexible and effective, preventing leaks. Lubrication distribution. Valve exercise helps distribute lubrication evenly, ensuring smooth operation and reducing wear. All these points add up to increased longevity of the valve. By regularly exercising valves, the lifespan is increased and the valve is kept in good working order. Compression set, which is permanent deformation of an elastomer, can be mitigated through periodic use. Compliance with safety regulations. Many standards exist that either directly mention or at least refer to regular maintenance, including valve exercise. Let's take a look at how easy it can be to exercise a valve. Before actuating any valve, ensure it's safe to do so. Follow all in-house safety procedures and utilize all appropriate personal protective equipment. In our example, we have an eccentric plug valve from Desuric. Our valve is on a stand, but generally, a valve can be exercised while installed in the pipeline. This valve is currently in the open position. We can take note of this to ensure that we end by returning the valve to its original position. We will start by visually inspecting the valve, taking notes of any issues we may find. Now we can exercise the valve. Refer to the valve's documentation for specific operating instructions. For our eccentric plug valve, we will simply close the valve using the hand wheel. Once fully closed, we can return the valve to its original position. Visually inspect the valve once more, checking for any leaks or areas that require further attention. Document all findings in a way compliant with in-house maintenance procedures. Exercising industrial valves can be done manually or by using automated systems like powered actuators. Incorporating valve exercise into a preventive maintenance schedule is a simple way to ensure valves and a system remain healthy and operational. If you have any questions about valves or valve maintenance, please reach out to your local Desiric representative.